The garden tomb is a tomb in Jerusalem which was unearthed in 1867. Some people consider it to be the tomb of Christ, others disagree. But the Garden Tomb Association who run the garden never say that it is. They just present the evidence from the Bible and let you decide. As you go through the garden, there is an air of peace about the place. Firstly, you start off looking at the place of the skull. This is where you will see a skull inside the rock face. It is believed to be the place of execution. Tradition says that Stephen may have been stoned here. It is believed to be the place where the Romans performed their executions. We sing the song, there is a green hill far, far away. Well, it couldn't be further from the truth. Jesus would have been executed on a busy road. The Romans wanted people to see and take notice. This is what happens to you if you disobey Rome. So the main road was an excellent place to teach the people a lesson. And this is the main road which in Jesus' time led to Damascus. The Bible tells us that Joseph of Arimathea, who was a secret believer in Jesus, went to Pilate and asked for the body. Pilate gave him permission and it was taken nearby to a tomb that had just been newly dug out of the rock. Inside the tomb, as you enter, is the weeping chamber and then you will see two chambers to lay bodies, one of which hasn't been finished yet. Is this the tomb of Christ? The Bible tells us that the angel rolled the stone away. Here there is a channel with which a stone would be fitted. The Bible says in John chapter 20, Peter therefore went out and the other disciple and came to the tomb. So they both ran together and the other disciple outran Peter and came to the tomb first. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen cloths lying there, yet he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb and he saw the linen cloths lying there and the handkerchief that had been around his head not lying where the linen cloths, but folded together in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who came to the tomb first went in also, and he saw and believed. Today the garden tomb is a beautiful garden. In Jesus' day it would be a garden, but not a flower garden, it would be a working garden with olive trees and vine branches. Now every garden needs water and found on the site is a very big water system. It's the third largest in Jerusalem. Plenty of water to water the garden. Also found on the site is a wine press. What better way to crush those grapes that you have grown than right on site? So this is the evidence, a beautiful garden, close to a skull in the rock face, a main road nearby, and a grave dug out of the rock. Is this the tomb of Christ? Well, it doesn't really matter, but what does matter is what is written on the door of the tomb. He is not here, for he has risen.